Hmm. Well, as you know, <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house. This crazy house without walls. Okay? Um, I want to just visit real quick. Harry. Are y'all buying his book? Are y'all even watching the special? Do y'all even care um, about the modern day royal who has broke away from the um, the other races? The 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 mama races, the mother load <laughs> of tradition, I should say. I'm sorry, Chilio Pop Pop. Who has breaking away from tradition? This guy, he claims that his brother physically attacked him after calling Megan difficult and rude. So they had actually a throwdown in 2019. And, you know, that usually happens uh, to brothers, period. And especially when one has a wife and a child first and children first. And then the second one finds his woman, his children. Well, then there becomes a little bit more competition and a little bit more rivalry with males anyway when that happens. Because he wants him to know that his spare parts work just as well as his. And he's a man now, right? Okay, and not only that, in his in his quest to be in what he would call free, he's doing a lot of things. I'm talking about Harry now, that his mother, in my opinion, seems to be um, doing, would, would do. It's almost as if he's channeling her energy. Um, and he's just not into this royal nightmare of a culture. And once you understand, it takes a hell of a person. And I don't care who you are. It transcends color. It transcends to know that you have been going wrong. And it's against everything you feel in the inside, whether it's religion, whether your parents are pastors and, you know, you grew up Church of God in Christ or you grew up apostolic faith or you grew up in the synagogue or you grew. Listen, it takes a hell of an individual to walk away and get underneath that thing and say, I, I can't deal with this tradition. I can't deal with these lies. And the more God, the higher power or whatever you call it, begins to clear the scales from my eyes. I can't be a part of this no more. I don't want to be a part of this no more. And when you are royal, there's no room for that kind of um, that, that, that thought process. There's just no room for it. So now you got Charles pleading to them. Please, boys. Don't make my final years misery. A misery. Charles plead to Warren, Will, William, and Harry after Prince Philip's funeral. Because he don't want to see his sons fighting like this. And listen. One is like the mother... And one is like the father. And it's just as simple. You can see it. In fact you can feel it. Those of us who. Felt. The energy. Of Diana. And I had the pleasure. Of seeing her. When she came to Chicago. And when she was in New York. Both times. I was in the city. And it was a big deal. Um. When she graced us. And she came straight to the ghettos all the time. And she had a uh, energy. 
that was all her own. And for those of y'all that wasn't around when Princess Dinah was around, y'all don't y'all don't have a clue the kind of energy that she had. And I loved her. And that's to this day, you know, I, I do. I carry a queen of hearts, you know, because she got it. In, in spite of all the tradition, in spite of all that burden, as a white girl, phew, I had ultimate and tall respect for her, you know. So that's something that um, I always cherish because it hurt me so bad when she was, when they, in my opinion, made it kind of hard for them to escape and they got smashed. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, I see her baby boy in her. It's just that simple. So now you got this situation anyway where these young men, ain't, they ain't messing with each other right now. But at the end of the day, they brothers. And hopefully they'll figure out how it goes and maybe they can work it out. But then Cain and Abel were brothers. And you can have two nations growing up in the same womb. So good luck with that. But for him to push him down, you would have never heard no story like that. Because they paint this fake picture. It's perfect. And they want us all. And the sad part about it is, y'all, there is, if, if we would just stand our shit up, all of us, <laughs> we wouldn't measure up to a filthy rag. But we fake the game real good, you know. I know I faked it. I've been such a fake. And living in America, you have to play that game. That's the game you play. Whether you going to get a job, whether you dealing with white people, whether you dealing with crazy uh, black people, or whether you dealing with, it, it just does not matter. You play. There's a mask. That we are encouraged to, to, to show. I think it's possible to be yourself. And keep your authenticity. And if you have to break from tradition. Because it's, it's a problem and it's costing you sleep. When you can't sleep at night. Then you got to walk away. So, again, my hat's off to Harry and Megan. And this is very sensitive. And I'm glad they, they're in therapy because it, it can have a toll on their relationship. Where he feels like he's given up everything. And he has. And she's given up everything. So... Those kind of relationships under scrutiny like that, you know, they, they need extra love. Anyway, that's my take on it. What y'all think? Leave your comments below. What you think about Prince Char uh, William pushing Harry down on the ground? <laughs> what kind of craziness? <sighs> because he was like, you going to be talking about my woman, dude. <laughs> anyway, the new book is called Spare. Prince Harry, you've done it again. I'll see you guys in the next video.